Oh my gosh, they're so freaking cute. You're cute. Hey guys, it's Maddie. So for today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about the importance of these adorable little creatures known as rats. So most of the time when I talk about having rats, people are really disgusted and they're like, you're disgusting, rats are filthy, dirty animals. And I am here to talk to you about why they are not filthy, dirty animals and they make absolutely wonderful pets. I'm joined here today with a few of my rats. We're gonna start out with Cora. So Cora is one of my newest rats. She is a black-eyed Himalayan Dumbo rat and she is 10 weeks old right now. Okay, <laughs> so I'm going to talk to you guys about how special these little guys are and why they have such a bad rep. So a lot of people associate these guys with filthy vermin that live in the sewers, which is not true. Street rats are known as black rats and these guys are known as brown rats. They spend more time each day cleaning themselves than dogs or cats do. Oh, that was so cute. They are less likely to carry and spread disease than dogs or cats as well. Hi, little baby. Rats were also not the actual carrier of the bubonic plague. It was actually the flea that was on the rat. And you should not be worried that these little guys will transmit much of anything to you. So a lot of people are really disgusted by rats' tails, but what actually is the significance of the rat's tail? So the rat's tail is not slimy or it doesn't really even feel weird. It just feels like skin. They actually use their tail to control their body temperature. So the blood vessels in the tail expand and constrict depending on, you know, their body temperature. Rats' tails also help them balance. Rats actually laugh when they're playing. They make a really high pitched little squeaky noise and it's really, really, really adorable. I don't think I have any footage of my rats doing it, but it's really super cute. Another really cute thing that rats do when they're happy is they chatter their teeth and they vibrate their eyes and it's called boggling. They like playing with toys and they definitely bond with people and they're extremely social animals that love to live in groups of two or more. They can be taught tricks and can be trained to use a litter box actually fairly easily. Rats are also proven to succumb to peer pressure just like people do. So in lab studies, they say that rats will actually eat unpalatable food if the other rats around them are eating it just so they can fit in. Both males and females are great pets. They're good for beginners and they're very sweet animals. So if you are afraid of rats because they are dirty, filthy creatures that carry disease, I encourage you to find somebody who has a rat and go give them a cuddle or two because they are absolutely wonderful little critters that deserve love just like all other animals do. So thank you guys so much for watching and I really hope it opened your mind about how cute and sweet these little guys are and I hope that you guys will give them another chance if you previously disliked rats. So yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.